All right, guys, welcome back to my channel. Today, if you can just take a second of your time, minimize that box on this window that you're watching on this video, and click that like button, guys. It makes me know that what I'm doing, y'all like. Okay, guys? Subscribe if you want to. If you don't, that's fine, too. But just hit that like button for me if you don't mind. All right, let's go ahead and get into this video. Today's video is going to be mounting a round box and running a wire to it for lights. Stand by, guys. All right, guys, so today we're gonna mount a keyless fixture on a round box like I promised before, okay? All right, so I'm gonna show you how easy it is to put a piece of Romex into the box, all right? So I always, and this is just my own personal opinion, okay? I always run 12 gauge wire. I personally never run 14. That is just my own opinion. Whenever I go to anybody's house to do anything, you know, after hours, moonlighting, whatever you wanna call it, side work, I always tell them, if you don't buy 12 gauge wire, we're not proceeding with the project, okay? That is just my own opinion. You get the maximum protection with 12 gauge wire, okay? New Romex always comes yellow, okay? And number and 12 gauge anyway, 12-2. All right, 14 is always white, unless you're in some different country and I don't know about it, okay? So as you see inside this box right here, you see all these little tabs right here? There's like two on each side. Two on that side and two on the bottom, all right? So what's gonna happen is you're gonna put this Romex right in this box like this, okay? I'm gonna show you from the inside. So it's gonna be on a, on a stud, okay? So it'll be sitting like that, all right? Let's drop the stud out. And what's gonna happen is you're gonna run your wire and you're gonna push it right, you're literally gonna push this right through the box, all right? So watch on the outside, okay? Or inside, rather. You're just gonna push, all right? And that's what you do. Now, a lot of people strip it out before they put it in there. It, to me, it doesn't really matter. Uh, if I'm doing a whole bunch of them, maybe I'll do it, but usually I just stick it in there and pull my knife across it and strip it out, okay? So once you put it in there, it's not coming back out without a fight, okay? If you pull and pull and pull, you're gonna shred your yellow off of your Romex, okay? But I'm gonna show you a little tool that I have that may make life a little more simple. Now, if you only a weekend warrior electrical and you just want to hang one light you may not want to get this just take your exacto knife with the power off and strip it out but i'm going to show you something that i have that i've obviously bought for make my life a little easier in the electrical field okay so when you have your romex before you stick it in your box now i'm going to show you a real nice tool that i have all right this is from klein i don't know the number i don't know if it has a number on it or not but these are romex strippers now these are bent 90 degrees that way you can get into the box any box and you can pull it out like that box I just showed you, okay? All you gotta do is you see how it's specially made. It kind of looks like it's kind of really weird. So you have two little spots right here for your wire and then your ground in the middle. So all you're gonna do is you're gonna put your wire just like this. Hopefully I can get this in frame here, okay? You're gonna put down on it and you're gonna make sure it's in there with the power off and you're gonna squeeze. So when it's in there, that's what's gonna look like from the backside. Okay, and what you're gonna do is you're gonna squeeze all the way down, not so tight that you bend your handles. Okay, and now mine are older, and sometimes I've had a pair when new, you have to do this, okay? You have to give it a, like a little up and down, okay? And just, well, I bent it so, and just pull it off. But you see how easy it is? It makes a perfect clean cut. Now that paper in there, it doesn't really matter, it's just, shredded up but that's what it does every time you see both sides i've already done it the other day so now like i told you you can strip it out before you put it in the box and let me show you if you do that how easy it is i put wire in the box i like to make it longer the code is i want to say it's six inches but i like to do a little bit more so when your box up there all you got to do okay is push it straight in there and then leave what i like to do is leave a little yellow in there not that much but just a little bit in there and then you have your pigtail sticking out like that okay and you have your three wires let's go ahead and put this on the wall and let me show you what it looks like okay so this is going to be angled now these you can put this pretty much at whatever height you feel like you need to put it at okay i'm just going to put it right here so it stays in frame uh all you want to do is the same thing now watch my video about how to mount a single gang box on a wall 
you need to watch it. And this one also has a lip on it right there. That's where your 2x4 goes right against. So it'll rest just like that. It will leave you half of an inch right off of your wall, okay? Now, this, like I said before, you don't want to hang a ceiling fan off us. I don't care what electrician tells you you can, don't do it. Plain and simple. That's my advice. Okay, so we're going to mount this up here. So the same way, you're going to put your hand like in a U, so it'll be around the 2x4. You're going to hold it on there, and you're going to go ahead, and you're going to just nail it on it while you're holding it. Okay, just like so. Now, I'm not going to nail it all the way on there because I need to take it off sometimes to show you something else. So I'm just going to nail it three-quarters of the way on like I did, okay? And same with this. All right, so now I'm getting ready to run the wire. This is the Romex that I use. It's just regular old Romex from anywhere you want to get it from, okay? If you see an electrician, <laughs> that, now this is just my personal opinion, okay? If you see an electrician, just pull it out and leave it coiled while they're putting it in your walls, I would probably ask for somebody else. Okay, what I like to do is get it out of here, okay, and then walk it out. Now, I'm going to show you a different day how I walk Romex out, but not today. But you want to just go ahead and roll it out so it stays completely flat much as possible okay that way when you nail it on the wall it's completely flat and it looks good it doesn't look all curly cute and everything else okay all right guys so i'm gonna go ahead and strip this out a little bit now like i told you i always have to pull mine a little bit okay and it comes right off just like so all right so i'm gonna put it in this side hopefully my box was down because like i said i've only stapled it or nailed it on three quarters of the way like so all right now what i like to do is take it and put it in the middle of the stud, okay? So you're gonna have to put a staple on it. Now, where do you put the staples at? Okay, I'm gonna show you two different kinds of staples that I use. Okay, these are the staples that I personally like to use, okay? These are just old Viking staples. sixteenths. I do personally not like the, the half inch. That's just my own opinion, but you can do whatever you want to. Okay, they're a little bit more expensive for nine sixteenths, and this is what they look like, and they are sharp. Okay, you can also buy these, also made by Viking, and they have a little insulator on them. So when the wire goes over top of it, it doesn't get any metal on it. Okay, and these are half inch. Now, I, I, as you see, how many I got versus how many of these I got because I personally don't like the half inch. My fingers are bigger, and when I put it on, what I do when I put a staple on a wire, I put my finger over it like so, and I'll show you here in a second. And then I'll tap it on there so it'll stay on there, and I pull my finger out and staple the rest of the way, okay? Let's go ahead and I'll show you here how I put these on. Now, I'm not gonna put my finger in this time because I need to stand on the side so I can show you. And I'll just go ahead, put it on like that. Okay, so you'll go ahead and you'll, you'll measure how much wire you're gonna need. So you're gonna need probably about that much. Let's go ahead and cut it off. All right, we'll strip it out again. All right, hold your ground in the middle. You wanna leave them kind of tight as possible so they don't get all cattywampus on you. All right, pull your plastic or your cardboard off and you want to stick it straight on it. staple in. You want to try to keep them as close to the middle of the stud as possible because when you put the sheetrock on you don't want you don't want 
a, a screw to go in your Romex, obviously. That would be bad news. All right, there you have it. Now, as you see, it's still a little too long, so we're going to go ahead. Now, this is a perfect opportunity for me to show you how these angle pliers work, all right? Just cut it off. Pull it out, all right? And there you go. And then pull your paper back off. And you are ready to put your keyless fixture on. That is, you guys. Now, I personally would leave a little bit more wire than this. But this is good. My rule of thumb is I put my hand up against there and it should come to the end of my thumb. And you just, I don't know if you can tell or not, but it's just a little over it. So I'm, I've been doing it long enough to know where I like to have it, guys. Okay? That's all you got to do. Now, put the keyless fixture on. It's really easy to do. So this is what my keyless fixture looks like, okay? It's made by Levinson. Let me put it up the right way so you can see. All right? So it does come with screws. Now, I, I'll give you some advice that I like to do. If it's for a shed or whatever, I just personally will use, it comes with screws, as I was just telling you, okay? When I use these, like in my garage or whatever, I don't use these screws because personally, I hate, I hate them. I use a drywall screw and they work beautifully, okay? But if you want to use the screws, that's more than, go ahead and do what you got to do. That's, this is my own personal opinion, but I'm not going to use these today. I'm going to use a, a drywall screw just so it in and out easy all right now when you open it up you'll see here you have a silver tab and a gold tab okay this is important now will it work either way absolutely but you want to put your hot on your gold and your neutral on your silver okay very easy okay now this one has no receptacle on it so this is just plain and simply a light all right so what you're going to want to do now is prep your wire for around the screws so let me show you that okay okay along with the angle of your Romex stripper it also has some wire strippers made into it along with a cutter all right all you want to do is strip your wire off so now that's a little bit much that's just what I, I usually do okay so you strip both sides of it up Okay, and there's a hole in these. If you ever wondered, because I've talked to many electricians, have no idea about what I'm getting ready to tell you. If you ever wonder what these little holes right here are in any strippers, because just about every stripper I've ever seen, good ones anyway, has that hole in it. What that hole is for is you stick your wire in like so, okay, and you flip it around and you make your hook. Now, I don't like using them because you see that hook. To me, that is a terrible hook. And you can make it smaller if you really want to try. I just bypass this all together, and I just use my linesman's. And let me show you what it looks like with your linesman's, okay? To me, that hook is a lot better, okay? Okay, so this was be this is your wire sticking out of your box, okay? Now, if you follow this every single time, you can't go wrong, okay? This is the way I learned, and this is just another tip. If you always hook up ground first, which obviously there is no ground here. So what you'll do with the ground, which I'll show you here in a minute, you'll just fold it up and put it in the box, okay? But if you always go ground, neutral, hot, easy as pie, okay? And how you take it off when it's hot, which you don't want to ever do, but if you ever had to take it off while it's hot, you always want to take off your hot first, then your neutral and your ground very last, because your ground is going to save you. Okay, so you'll take the neutral, and you'll put it, the hook, just like this, around the wire. So, I mean around the screw, so it's like that. So when you turn your screw, see how it goes on, right? When you turn it, the hook will actually turn down and lock onto your screw tab. If you do it the opposite way, while you're screwing, it's gonna unravel your wire and then you're gonna have a loose connection. Loose connections are bad, guys, okay? Plain and simple. So, we'll go ahead and try it. So you'll put it on there. Take your screwdriver, and this is just old Klein's uh, tenon one, and you'll just tighten it down. Now, this is only a little piece of metal, so don't ream it down so tight that it just strips it out, because I had a helper one time, and he's still a good guy, and if he's watching this video, he'll know I'm referring him. Yes, I said referring. Uh, he would strip or screw down so tight that it would just strip out everything. Couplings, especially, 
You don't have that now, don't you? Okay. Same with your hot, okay? Now, you don't want to, I personally don't want to go across here because if you ever have a, a wire that could, you know, rub, you don't want to short out between these two terminals. So, what I will do is I will put the wire just like so, same way. You want to face it so it's going that way. So when you screw it in, it doesn't come flying off. And you just want to tighten it down. I'm trying to get it in the frame here for you. And that's all you do. So now you have it separated. So when you put it in, you know, you'll just put it in like so, right in the box.